It's not often that one gets to witness a duo as strainly well complimented as Jonathan and Charlotte. When the two stepped on the Britain's Got Talent stage, both the judges and the viewers were blown away by just how well suited the two were to each other and to the show itself. What made Jonathan and Charlotte's partnership work so well was mainly their friendship behind the scenes and a sense of profound loyalty to one another, especially since on the surface it did not look like the two would make a great singing pair. The most common critique the two have faced is that Jonathan's power and dramatic tenor is more suited to more elaborate singing genres like opera, and at the same time, Charlotte's warm and honeyed singing voice is the stuff West End show-stopping dreams are made of. And yet, when put together, the two complement each other like fire and water. This really shone through at their Britain's Got Talent audition. But what has the duo been up to since their time on the show? Join us as we explore what really happened between Jonathan and Charlotte from Britain's Got Talent. Brought together by a twist of fate, Jonathan Antoine and Charlotte Giaconelli were both born in Chigwell, Essex in England. While Jonathan has an older sister with a married set of parents, Charlotte's parents divorced a year before she met Jonathan. Charlotte has previously spoken up about how she felt forced to grow up early because of her circumstances and hated choosing between her parents, so she would stay with both of them over alternating days. All this while she had developed a fondness for music after being enrolled in stage school classes by her mother when she was younger. Jonathan, in the meanwhile, had been garnering as many musical notes as he could, and after enrolling at West Hatch High School and Middle School, he found mentors like Jeanette Brown and Jenny Owington. The two studied music in the same high school, working with the same teacher, but did not consider working together until they were paired up in music class by their school's singing coach, Jenny Owington. And the interesting thing about this pairing was that it wasn't even for a school event. It was their music teacher, Jeanette Brown's wedding day, that they were paired together to sing. For the song, Mrs. Brown said that she chose the prayer for both her wedding and their GCSEs because she felt that it highlighted their talents best, and it was incredibly shocking for her to see the pair pop up on her telly years later. The two continued as a duo for years after that, and before showing up on the America's Got Talent stage with Jonathan, Charlotte was training full-time in musical theatre at the Arts Educational Schools, London, while Jonathan was training classically at the Royal Academy of Music part-time as a junior. When Charlotte and Jonathan first walked onto the Britain's Got Talent stage in the show's sixth season, the reaction that they received was less than ideal. In fact, many noted that the judges' initial aversion to the pair was strangely reminiscent of their reaction towards contestant Susan Boyle. Perhaps this was history repeating itself, since Susan Boyle went on to become a globally recognized icon. The pair sang their practice classic The Prayer at their audition, which earned them more than a few compliments. Although the judges were incredibly impressed by the duo, one judge in particular had something more controversial to say. Judge Simon Cowell advised Jonathan to dump Charlotte, since he believed him to be vocally superior. The pair continued to stay together, but ended up changing their name from Charlotte and Jonathan to Jonathan and Charlotte. Over the course of the show, the duo remained resilient and eventually ended up proving Simon wrong at the semi-final too, where they performed Caruso as a duet. According to Simon himself, his initial assessment of Charlotte holding Jonathan back was incorrect and that she actually complimented him really well. In an interview later, Charlotte called Simon a letdown in the sense that she expected him to be scarier, but he was, by her account, really cool and lovely. All this praise, however, did not manage to make Charlotte and Jonathan win the final. They did, however, secure runner-up right behind dancing dog act Ashley and Pudsley. In 2012, a short while after their time on Britain's Got Talent, the duo were ready to move on to a brighter, better scene. It was clear that they had what it took to be successful, and so, as is the case with most acts who display the trait, Simon Cal swooped in with a psycho record deal for the two soon after the show's end. Jonathan and Charlotte were offered a million-dollar recording contract with the label, and they signed it with the condition that they would both do some musical theatre in the near future. Their debut album, Together, was released on the 24th of September 2012 in the UK and on the 30th of October in the US. It featured new songs and covers, including The Prayer, which the duo sang at their first audition and at the final. The duo also worked with producer Graham Stack, who was behind the first three albums of X Factor opera stars G4. 
and the public lavished the duo with lots of love as the album hit its peak at fifth place on the UK Albums Chart just two days after being on the market. Soon after the album's release, a documentary following the young teenager's success since the show was aired on ITV. The documentary was a deep dive into their rise to fame, their personalities, and their backgrounds. The two were both still teenagers when the documentary aired and were given the opportunity to travel to Italy and France and complete their musical education, all while talking to some of the most important people in their lives. However, the two weren't quite done making songs with each other just yet and released another album, Perhaps Love, a year later. The album was more or less the same as their last album, as Charlotte described it, but with more unpredictable pieces, and it too topped UK charts at number 5. This was also the album that started to see them diverge as artists, as the two had their own dedicated solo songs within it, and only a short year later, the fears that skeptical fans had about them splitting up were rendered true. You might expect a dramatic split, given how we usually see such events unfold in the music industry, but Jonathan and Charlotte, always praised for being level-headed individuals, could not have been more amicable in their split. After being approached by Sony Classical for $1 million solo record deals for each, the pair decided to release a joint statement to acknowledge the oncoming split. Fans were heartbroken to find out that the two were splitting, but it was an exciting opportunity to have a look at exactly what they would be like without each other. Charlotte was the first to release her studio album Solitaire in June 2014, and overall, the album was fairly well received. While doing press for the album, she spoke about how the next step for her was branching out into musicals and West End shows. She ended up graduating from Arts Ed, one of London's top drama schools, in 2018, and made her debut at the West End in the very same year as part of the original UK Heather's The Musical cast. The singer then went on to become an original member of the RSC show, The Boy in the Dress. She was lined up to perform at the Theatre Royal Bath where she played the role of Florinda in their production of Into the Woods from August the 17th until September the 10th. Amidst it all, Charlotte has been a huge advocate for body positivity and representation in the entertainment industry and recently called for there to be HR help for theatre performers. She keeps her fans updated via her social media accounts. Arguably the more conventionally successful half of the duo, Jonathan Antoine has managed to make strides in both his personal and professional life after his split with Charlotte. Though the two barely talk anymore, as he said himself in an interview that he would be very open to a reunion with his old friend. A few months after Charlotte released Solitaire, Jonathan released his album Tenor, which featured a selection of classic songs as well as arias. The album was received incredibly well and effectively launched his solo career into stardom. Soon afterward, in 2016, he released his second album Believe to equally raving reviews, and a few years later performed his first solo concert in the United States in the Fred Cavalli Theatre at the Thousand Oaks Civic Arts Plaza in California. He's performed at many concerts since, one of the most notable being a three-part concert entitled Beyond the Curtain in Canada, where he sang Disney songs. He's also launched a recording project with Artist Share for an album he was working on alongside Diane Warren called, by request, The Diane Warren Songbook Volume 1. As for his personal endeavors, one of the biggest ways Jonathan committed to change was physically. After a long and arduous weight loss journey that did not escape any media attention, Jonathan managed to lose over 50 pounds, a decision he claims to have made for his health more than to fit external beauty standards. It seems as though both Charlotte and Jonathan are doing well within their chosen musical fields, but it does leave us feeling a bit nostalgic for their lost friendship along the way. But who knows, maybe in the future, the two could reunite once again, for old time's sake.